My people wonder shall never end. Now, wow. Hmm. So it has gotten to the point where they said Temitope is now challenging Kabiesi's uh, uncle in a spiritual fight. Hmm. No, be smart, you know. These people should be very careful, though, because we all know that they are not happy about Kwenomi's return. But thinking that uh, it is high time to show who they truly are, they are going to wound, though. Dingo Wundo. According to the information getting to us, they said uh Kabyasi have uh, an uncle who is uh gifted with the third eye, as in they said the man is around sixty something, is it seventy something years? I don't know the exact age, but he's an old man. But he have the gift of uh seeing things, you know. And there are some people in this life that when you come around them with uh, negative aura, they will not be comfortable with you. As a matter of fact, they will, they will might go as far as exposing you or calling on your attention. And they say this uncle of Kabiesi happens to be one of those who doesn't stay around evil people and keep quiet because he was disturbed. They said the man storms the palace to come and see Kabiesi. When he hears that Kabiesi's wife, Queen Naomi, have returned back to the palace, they said he was very, very happy that ever since all of this thing happened and he advised Kabiesi on what to do to bring back Queen Naomi and Tadenikawo, and Kabiesi did not do it. They said the man had been ad uh, avoiding Kabiesi. You know, he doesn't come close to him. He, he told him to, since he cannot listen to advice, let him do his thing, his own way. But nobody should call him or involve him in anything that has to do with this. And ever since then, they said the man is not coming closer to the palace because he is not happy about what is going on. Knowing that the gods are not happy with the situation of things in that palace then. So when he got the information that when Naomi have returned back to the palace, they said the man's joy knows no bound. He was very, very happy, such that he wanted to come and congratulate Kabiesi and Queen Naomi. But something happened. They said the moment he enters the palace, uh, while he was walking towards that direction to go and see Kabiesi, he saw the uh, Mitokwe almost going to the same direction. I don't know if the Mitokwe was going to see Kabiesi or and maybe it, uh, she was going to see Kabiesi. I don't know. But they said the man told her that, look, you look so innocent. But his instinct is telling him that you are up to something and that thing is not good. They said the way Temitabwe greeted the man with respect to as an elder and she already know that the man is Kabiosi's uncle. She greeted the, uh, the man very well, you know. But she never know who the man truly is, the kind of person that he is because if he knew he would try to avoid or try to go back the moment he she saw him coming so they say he she waited and greeted the man very well and the man was like are you not Kabi, are you not one of kabiesi's wives she said yes that uh, baba she is a uh, kabiesi's wife and baba was like why is it that my instinct is telling me that you are up to something and that is not something good that uh, his instinct, instinct is telling him that you are one of those who thinks they can use a jazz to hold a man. Ha! They, they said, Temitokwe told the Baba that, look, oh, I don't understand what you are saying. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that I am doing jazz, I'm doing juju and all of that? They said the man said, you know yourself more than I know you. So if you are doing, you know. If you are not doing, you know. So, but I know that my instinct never lied to me. But what where are you going to she said uh, she wants to go and see kabiesi the man said no you can't see kabiesi go and keep that thing that you're going to see kabiesi with because if you try to go there it will disappoint you because it will not work and the middle was like what kind of embarrassment is this you are accusing me wrongly what are you, what are you trying to say they said the man told her that look don't even try to go there because if i go there now tell kabiesi that you are holding something and it is not something good. It is juju. And instead of you to be disgraced like that, it is not better that you go back so that you not be disgraced. 
and you better stop this thing because there is no life in it. It is going to expose you publicly one day. That is what they said the man told her. She was like, I don't understand what you are saying. You are accusing me. How dare you? Is it because you are old man? This and that. Oh, oh. They said she started ranting. No. And the man told her that, look, you cannot do anything. No. You cannot do anything. Only know that I know you. But not fighting you does not mean that I don't know what to do. Or not exposing you does not know what, does not mean that I don't know what to do. But because I don't want to dis disrespect uh, KBAC because exposing you in that way is going to be a disgrace to KBAC. But the problem is that KBAC doesn't listen to advice. And that is why you girls or you ladies are using him to do as you like. That was what they said the man was telling the meetup. And all of a sudden, they said Tamita the angrily left. She did not go again to go and see KBS. She went away. She left the palace and told the man that for this insult you have given to me, that you are going to see. They said he, she told the man that I am going to show you. I am going to deal with you. And the man was like, there is nothing you can do to me. Don't think because I am old, you can do anything to me. You can't do anything to me. And it's like that man is not that rich from what we heard. Because I believe that if he is that rich, KBSC would have listened to his advice. But because he is poor, maybe the meter would think that, uh, I wonder what she was promising to do to the man. But my people, they say, when the meter left, the man uh, headed towards seeing KBSC. And the moment KBSC got an information that so so person was waiting for, waiting to see him, they said KBSC hurried out to come and meet with the uncle, because they said the uncle is such a good man, you know, even though he doesn't, he's not that wealthy, but he is a very good man. You know that when you have a good uncle, you will know. When you have a bad one, you will also know. So they said while KBSC was meeting with the man, the man was just uh, telling KBSC, uh -huh, you have done like your father. That you have proven to us that your father have, is the one that gave birth to you. That you are a great king indeed. That your days are going to be long. You will ruin. They said the man was blessing Kabiesi. All of a sudden, something happened and this, the man slumped. And at that, at that point, they said the man was, as the way he slumped, he smiled. And said, this woman, that it is one of your wife who tried me, but she will see. My people, they said, no, be smart. And Kabiesi was like, which wife? Which wife? They said the man called her name and said that because she advised her to go and keep whatever that she was going to come and see you with, that is why she have decided to try him. That she is going to deal with her, but KBSC should warn her. Because the reason he is keeping quiet over their activities in this palace is because they respect KBSC a whole lot. That if not, they would have put them in their place. Don't forget that these are all alleged information. Thanks for watching. Share this video. Bye. I love you guys.